Sharing a family photo on social media ended up being a wake-up call for one local mother. And it raised some questions about keeping kids safe when you're posting things online. Courtney Garrish is here to explain why. Courtney. Carol and Mike, this mom didn't think twice about posting her picture to Facebook until her account was blocked for a reason that never crossed her mind. Remember these days when baby pictures were tucked away safe in a family album? Not anymore. This is the new baby book for many parents. Sites like Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. I was an obnoxious mom. I posted 8 million pictures of the same face. Proud parents sharing their joy with just a few thousand people at a time on social media. But is it safe? I think anything on the internet can be potentially dangerous. We just wanted to do natural lighting. When Samantha Hook was pregnant with her second daughter, she and her husband hired a professional photographer for maternity pictures. And they turned out awesome. They were beautiful. Beautiful pictures Sam couldn't wait to share, but then an unexpected problem when she made one of them her profile picture on Facebook. And within, I think, 24 hours, they were taken down and I wasn't able to log into my Facebook page anymore. Someone had reported her picture because of what her six-year-old daughter wasn't wearing. I didn't even think, oh my gosh, this is, you know, a child without a shirt on. Display of nudity is why Sam's picture was removed. It's a violation of Facebook's community standards. Even though a picture is artistic, the social media site looks at all complaints through an objective lens. As a Facebook rep explained to us, it's not always apparent why someone is sharing. Any nudity and the picture can be removed, a way Facebook keeps its site safe. A policy Detective Ryan Dronick says is a good one. Social media has made everything accessible to everyone. Part of the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force with the Waukesha County Sheriff's Department. These are all guys that are actively trading child porn with me. Detective Dronick sees the dark side of the Internet every day and knows a beautiful picture of your child might be viewed the wrong way. Some people find those images you know, of, of children uh, sexually gratifying. And that can lead to far worse. They might follow you on Facebook and now they know who you are. And more pictures of your ch children or yourself, depending on what they're interested in, becomes enticing to them. It's horrible. It's awful, but it, it is the way that it is. Sam has since screened all her Facebook pictures, deleting any cute naked baby photos of both her girls. If I ever saw my child's photograph being used for something inappropriate, I, I don't even know what I would do. And it, it would be my fault because I put it online. And from now on, she plans on taking a different approach to sharing. While I enjoy that kind of photograph and I'll have it hanging in my home, I'm not gonna put something like that online ever again. So the best advice, use common sense and even be overcautious when you're sharing pictures of your children. And Courtney, privacy settings play a role in all of this too. Yeah, it's something that you have to keep up on, making sure your accounts are private, be picky about who you friend or who follows you. It's definitely a safer approach. So we did a little something here. We had a social media analyst walk us through how to make sure your Facebook page is really private. You can find that online at tmj4.com. Mm. Sad something so innocent yeah. to become so tawdry. Picture, yeah. Right. Thank you, Courtney. Eye opening. Well, Al